One thing that's key to being successful with your print on demand business is knowing what sorts of t-shirt design styles are currently relevant or trendy in order to increase the likelihood of actually getting sales and staying relevant. And that's why I've conducted research on two of the biggest print on demand marketplaces, Etsy and Amazon, and I've found some patterns of design styles that I believe are going to do really well in 2025. And I've collected these in this video and also I'm going to give you prompts to go along with them as well so you can create your designs for your niches in these t-shirt design styles. So the first style that's become extremely popular over the past few months and is in very high demand right now is what I like to call monochrome retro. I've seen these selling a lot on both Etsy and on Amazon for a ton of different niches. Typically you see these with animals, but that's not saying they're limited to just animal topics. They're usually a single color design. So both the graphic and the text have the exact same color and the illustrations have kind of a retro feel to them. They're fairly simplistic. And then we have a sort of playful font to go along with that with funny phrases and puns typically. Now, now the prompt right here reads a playful retro illustration of a lamb in mid jump or leap. So right there at the start, you can change out the topic of lamb to other animals or other niches and be as descriptive as you can with what sort of pose you want there to be in the graphic. And then it says above the lamb, there's text that reads, sorry, I'm late and below the lamb text that continues. I was dilly dallying. So again, they can easily swap out the two text placeholders to fit other phrases into there. And then it ends with a detail drawing style monotone brown color scheme. So swap out the word brown right there for other colors. It's not just limited to brown. I've seen these with teal. I've seen these in beige in green, black, white, like this. There's so many options. The types of colors that you can use definitely not limited right here. It's just that it has to stick to just one color with this specific style. In this example, we've got the sheep in the top left and then the cat in the bottom right. Those two graphics were both created with ideogram, which from my testing seems to be the best AI tool for this specific style. Flux tends to add way too many details, but you can definitely also do this with other AI tools, especially if they let you create your own customs of preset style. You should be able to recreate this fairly easily. And by the way, all of these prompts that I'm going to discuss in this video will be linked as a free download in the description down below if you want to have them handy all the time. The second sort of trending design style that's been doing extremely well recently is boho floral sort of pattern designs. These don't just work standalone as sort of floral shirts, but also with phrases. Now, this is typically a very popular style on Etsy, which is more sort of feminine, but they have also started to pop up on Amazon. That's why I wanted to discuss these. For example, there was one shirt doing really well leading up to the election for Kamala Harris that was featuring this kind of boho floral design style. So it definitely works in lots of different niches. And the prompt right here reads a vibrant and colorful boho floral pattern dominating the center and large white daisy like flowers with red centers. Obviously there you can change out the type of flower and the colors surrounding these various abstract shapes and forms in shades of orange, red, and brown. Feel free to swap out orange, red, and brown with other colors. That works quite well to create a variety of these kind of flower patterns. And it's isolated on a black background. Now I've not added an ability to add phrases right here because I have struggled a bit with getting that all look neat if you're adding text as well. But nevertheless, you can, as you can see, get some really nice flower patterns. We've once again got top left and bottom right of these graphics right here, created with ideogram. And then you can add phrases on top of that, like you can see in the examples of these Etsy screenshots right here, have a bit of text around the floral pattern. So nice and simple and straightforward. If you're targeting women, this sort of style is going to work for loads of different trends, lots of different niches, especially on Etsy. Now, style number three is a bit of a surprising one. It's kind of a vintage Japanese poster style that seems to be doing really well. There's a lot of new listings, especially on Amazon popping up that have these types of designs in them. There's also variety in topics, even though the best sellers are definitely dominated by cats. But nevertheless, the prompt right here reads a Japanese vintage style illustration of a black cat with striking orange eyes. The cat is depicted eating ramen from a large 
bowl. The bowl contains noodles, some slices of meat, and a few cherry tomatoes. So there, obviously, you've got a lot of room to change those things to other animals, to other topics in general. And also, it says uh, next right here, the background features a red-orange hue with waves, suggesting the setting might be near a body of water. If you don't want that kind of wavy, great wave style that you see in a lot of these Japanese poster themes, and you can also change that to other topics. There is other types of Japanese vintage posters that are doing well, not just these wave ones with ramen. And then it says the top left corner has the word ramen written in bold, and there's a Japanese character on the top right. Now, one thing to note here is you might assume, you know, these are more like poster designs. Why put them on t-shirts or shouldn't we be putting them on posters? You can for sure. Like if you, for example, sell on displayed, I would definitely try these out there as well. By the way, displayed has opened up its gates, so to speak. You can now open a store without having to apply, which is definitely great if you've been meaning to start selling there as well. I do see quite a lot of potential on displayed, at least more so than there is on platforms like TeePublic and Redbubble these days. And here the two examples in this presentation. The left hand side is actually from Flux. But you can kind of tell it's a, a little bit more detailed in some of the, the cat like eyes and ears and stuff like that. The bowl as well. The right hand side that was created with Ideogram. So both can definitely do this style with this prompt and you might still want to add some sort of distress effect to the edge right here to make it look a little bit more like a t-shirt design if that's where you're uploading your designs. Now one style that's definitely not going away anytime soon is the vintage sunset style. At least on Amazon, this is still extremely popular. It's dominating a lot of the big, broad, most competitive niches out there like the fishing niche, for example, has a lot of vintage sunset designs ranking at the top. And you still see this design style popping up in new trends with new phrases and new niches all the time. It works in pretty much every niche. I still upload this style all the time myself. I have a lot of regular sellers with the vintage sunset style. So that's why I wanted to include it in these top five prompts and the prompt itself is once again fairly straightforward it starts out describing the actual subject of the vintage sunset so in this case we've got the fox being described what it's wearing the pose etc and then it has in the middle right there behind the fox is a round sunset depicted with horizontal stripes and colors like orange yellow and blue they can go ahead and change the actual color scheme of the graphic and the bottom just has the text layout and what's included in the phrase so you've got some easy places right there to swap out a part of the prompt to make it suit your desired niche and phrase. We can see some examples right here. These were all created with Ideogram, which I strongly believe is the best AI tool for creating vintage sunset designs. And we've got it for a fox, for a flamingo, for a snail. These are very easy to create with Ideogram and it also seems to be making barely any mistakes nowadays when it comes to the actual phrases. And the top right corner is just a screenshot of a popular sort of Amazon merch design to kind of help you compare how close the different styles right there are, whether it's Ideogram or sort of a traditional design on Amazon Merch. So yeah, this is definitely a go-to one of mine, and I hope this prompt also helps you create some bestsellers in 2025. Prompt number five is for those of you who want to create some UFO selfies. Now, this is a really fun sort of emerging style that's become really popular, at least on Amazon, over the past few months, over the past year, and it features essentially photos that look like selfies or that look like animals taking selfies of themselves with UFOs floating in the background. And the best thing right here is you can be really creative. I encourage you to be creative and not just swap out the animal for another one. That is definitely one way to approach it. I've uploaded a lot of these designs recently and I am starting to get sales with them. Also on tumblers, surprisingly, I didn't expect to get tumbler sales with these, but nevertheless, there is definitely a lot of potential with them, but I encourage you to be creative. If you struggle to be creative, ask ChatGPT for help because ChatGPT, for example, helped me come up with the example on the right where you can see that llama in the desert and there's actually a, a cowboy in the background riding a horse, but it's not a cowboy, it's an alien waving into the camera. So that is a, a really cool, sort of funny twist to this UFO style that I wouldn't have come up with myself, but ChatGPT helped me come up with. These are usually in grayscale, they look fairly realistic and they literally usually just pasted onto the t-shirts as they are with that kind of rectangle look. You can also distress the edge a little bit to make it kind of merge into the shirt a little bit more seamlessly, but it's not a necessity. But yeah, definitely a fun style. These images right here were created with Flux 
Pro 1.0 that seems to, at least for me, get the, the best results from what I've tested. I've not tested every single AI tool with this style, but I can also see a mid journey actually, for example, getting pretty decent results here because it's usually quite good with photography. Ideogram did not work well, unfortunately. It was struggling to recreate the style. Maybe I had the settings slightly wrong there. Anyway, Flux Pro seemed to do the best for me. Try out the style. You could definitely get sales in all sorts of niches. You just have to try and be creative with it. Something else that's very important for progressing with your print and demand business is investing into the right tools. And that's why I've gone ahead and created this video right here, where I show you some of my favorite print and demand tools for 2025.